and friends, Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo and Joe Bayer in the house. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys. And you wonderful ladies, this literally does not work. So let's get open for business here. And let's wake up those football guys here on this Saturday. You know, it, it sucks because we don't have football. We, we don't. We, we know we don't have football. But here's the thing. Each weekend that we have without football gets us one step closer to the NFL season. And right now, we are only sitting, look at that, 34 days, 11 hours, um, 7 minutes, and 10 seconds away from the NFL draft. Can you believe that? We are a little over a month away from having the draft, and we're going to have the draft party to end all draft parties. Seriously. Seriously. It, it, it's it's literally, after we have it, they're, they're just going to shut them down. No more draft parties. But uh, all seriousness, though, the channel members, if you were here last year for our draft show, channel members will be able to Skype in. Um, I've been actually building towards the draft, trying to get myself ready for doing the live stream show and everything else. And we're going to do it up right this year because you channel members will end up being the studio audience. You'll be able to zoom call in. We'll be able to interact with you guys, get your response in real time to the moves that the Cowboys are making, how people are going up and down in the draft board and things like that. And we'll also be able to see in real time, Guys like Philly 500, Cop Pizzle, you know, uh, Skins Fan All Day, or Ed Oliver. We'll go around the YouTube blogosphere and see what we see going on and the reaction. So it's going to be a party. And, of course, we'll have tons and tons, and I mean tons, of Joe Boo wings as well. So get ready for that. We're only a month away from it. Can't wait. Can't wait for that. In the meantime, as we sit here, Dan Quinn is literally... Well, I tell you what, this clip will explain. Bring the band back together. Forget it. No way. We're on a mission from God. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Dan Quinn is trying to get the band together. Um, you think about Keanu O'Neill. Whoa, dude. Whoa. You know, Keanu O'Neill um, coming to the Cowboys, definitely a guy that was drafted by Dan Quinn, loved, you know, working with him and things. Definitely happy about coming to the Cowboys and pulling some Matrix, literally pulling some Matrix stuff. He's going to end up being that hybrid linebacker safety and things like that. And, of course, we can't forget uh, DeAndre KZ, another one of Dan Quinn's guys. Now, I honestly will say that we are getting a complete remodeling of the Dallas Cowboys defense. It may take a year or two for them to really get their stride, but make no mistake about it, the Cowboys have been all in on trying to fix this defense. Now, there is another piece out there that has that whole, you know, we're getting the band back together feel to it, and that is K.J. Wright. K.J. Wright, another former player, of Dan Quinn's with Seattle linebacker extraordinaire. Uh, he is 31 years old, but Seattle has definitely let him go because of cap ramifications to save some money. Uh, Seattle, they're doing, you know, they're kind of in this whole, you know, we're kind of rebuilding, rezoning, reloading, whatever you want to call it. And of course, cutting some of the bigger salaries and trying to start all over. What you have to understand is as a team, you only have a window of so long. You know, they had the Legion of Boom. Those guys were great, but that, you know, your window's like four or five years. After that, people start getting to be known and getting bigger contracts or they go to other teams as free agents or they get old and start getting injured. And so the good teams like in New England understand this process and are constantly <clears throat> reloading the roster. Well, that's where Seattle is right now. K.J. Wright is a great linebacker. He basically said to Seattle, I'm not looking to do a home team discount. You know, why should I do that? Because everybody else getting paid and I only have X number of years to get done. And we know with Seattle, when Earl Thomas wanted to get that, you know, new contract and everything else, Seattle don't do that. In fact, the only one you can say that they did would be Russell Wilson. And Russell Wilson had to put a gun to their head and say, if you do not sign me to a long-term contract, by April 15th, I will never sign another contract with you. And they got it done 11 o'clock on April 15th. 
So from that standpoint, we know that he's not going to get a new contract and all the money that he really wants to get. For the Cowboys, well, you know, in an exclusive interview with Mike Fisher, Mike Fisher reports that K.J. Wright says that, you know, with the Dallas Cowboys having Dan Quinn, again, putting that team back together, having Dan Quinn as the coach, having some of the players and pieces that are there, i.e., I can come in and start and take this mother humper over, um, he says, and of course, Dallas Cowboys being in the news, on the news, always in the news, says that the Cowboys could be a dream team for him. Um the interesting part is he's probably the best free agent that's left out there. According to Pro Football Focus, um, their top 100 free agents of the NFL season, Dak Prescott being number one, Cowboys already have him locked up. <laughs> he is rated at 66. So still definitely a guy people look at and say, okay, he's got some, you know, he, he definitely – would be an improvement for our roster. And I'd have to believe that myself because when you look at Van Der Esch, who's missed 13 games of the last two seasons, had a great rookie season, you have to wonder, is this guy going to be able to hold up? And then Jalen Smith, who, you know, had the tackles, but left a lot to be desired for the last year. So now you start looking at a guy and saying, okay, should we bring him in and see if we can improve? And the nice thing about this year is the amount of players that are signing one-year deals. What that can mean is he could come in, help you out for a year. You're not locking up for a long period of time. And if he ends up playing great and it's too expensive to keep, you're getting a compensatory pick. Or... You find a guy that you do want to keep, and you hold on to him. Think about Robert Quinn, who we traded, I think, a fifth-round draft pick for, came in, played a lights out for us, just was not great against the run, but got 11 and a half sacks, turns around and goes to the Bears, signs a $75 million contract, and we don't have to pay that bill. We end up with a compensatory pick, I believe, a fourth round. So this is the way that you can constantly keep talent in re um, invigorating the roster and hopefully finding some players without risking long-term ramifications. So I'm hoping maybe they get something worked out with them. I wouldn't mind that one one bit. And before I get ready to get out of here, um, shout out to everybody who's been in our live streams. Um, the live streams have been lively as could be. Um, Scott, your trophy is on the way, and I've got to actually get out here and try and see if I can get these other ones done. Um, a programming note, I will be on the road starting tomorrow evening. Um, I've got to take care of some business. You guys, of course, will be coming along for the ride. It's kind of a secret what I'm doing at the moment, but, you know, you can basically – Start following tomorrow evening is when I'll start talking about where we're, where I'm going and what I'm going to be doing, and it will it'll be interesting to say the least. And of course, we'll be keeping up with the Dallas Cowboys, and so the Super Bowl trophies have been going crazy. So I've got to try and get those done so Mike can get them shipped out while I'm gone. But it's something interesting. It, it hit me um, last night with the Dallas Cowboys, specifically one Dallas Cowboy. Dak Prescott, I thought for sure once Dak Prescott got his contract that the trolls would be like literally on steroids, you know, coming through. Dak is this, the Cowboys are stupid and all that. But it seems like things are a little bit different from the standpoint of, you know, people are saying, oh, the smartest move the Cowboys could make this offseason, you know, signing Dak Prescott. And it's kind of like, the fuck? I mean, because it used to be, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, real hating, man, that's like an art form, man. You know, it's like, you like a born a hater, you know, like myself, man. You know, a lot of cats think they hate, but, man, I mean, I'm mad, you know, I'm mad at everything, man. You know, brother got a nice car, man. Why you got a car, man? I only got one car. Why you got Why you got three cars or a wife or all that, man? I mean, that's played out, man. I hate on it till he's totally broke and ain't got nothing like me, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, yeah, that's what real hating is all about, man. They were, like, real haters, when it came to Dak Prescott, you know, we, we've heard 
of course, um, you know, Dan Orlowski, who is just basically the clown for ESPN, talking about, oh, the Cowboys should let Dak Prescott walk. You know, it's too expensive. But all of a sudden, it seems like it's been revisionist history. You remember last year when the Cowboys signed Andy Dalton and also when the Cowboys drafted Ben DiNucci? Oh, Ben DiNucci, you know, uh, Mike McCarthy really likes Ben DiNucci. He could be competition for Dak Prescott. Watch. By year two, he'll be taking over for Dak. Oh, Andy, Dal- Andy Dalton. There's not much of a drop-off from Andy Dalton. We had people, you know, one, one, of, one of my friends who used to be a writer and stuff, praised us getting Andy Dalton. Now we're going to see a real quarterback, a quarterback who can lead receivers, a quarterback who can, you know, literally fake out the safety, you know, a guy who's never had the weapons that Dak Prescott's had. With these weapons, boom, we're going to the Super Bowl. Maybe they should let Dak walk and Andy Dalton should be the starter. Save some money. There you go. It's almost funny because that's literally where all of the talking heads were last year. Remember it? Oh, my God. You know, <laughs> Mike McCarthy doesn't believe in Dak Prescott. Mike McCarthy didn't meet with Dak Prescott for two weeks after signing and becoming the coach. He really wants Andy Dalton. What does this mean for Dak Prescott? That was the talk. And now it's almost comical because now that Andy Dalton has been signed by the Bears. Everybody's rolling their eyes up. You know, it, literally they're... Four picks against Grossman and two fumbles. What do you see about the Bears? Uh, we shut them down that way? No, we, you know, I mean, we, we, we just... Uh, let's, we, the Bears are what we thought they were. <laughs> what, what, they're what we thought they were. Mm-hmm. We played them in preseason. Who the hell takes a third game in a preseason like it's bull? Yeah. We played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. Mm-hmm. That's why we took the damn field. Yep. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. <laughs> but they are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. Oh, I love that. I love that. It, 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 literally. So that's where everybody's like, oh, the Bears tweeted out quarterback number one, Andy Dalton. Oh, it's a disappointed man, they, coach. They, they thought that they were going to have a quarterback. They thought they are going to get Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson. Now they got Andy Dalton. And he's ass. He's ass. I mean, literally. Literally. It is almost hilarious, the transformation that we've got there. So I just find it amusing because, you know, I guess that's just the way it is. They are looking for content and something to talk about. And now that Dak Prescott, the deal is solved, well, they've moved on to other things. All right, y'all, I got work to do. Um, I got a lot of work to do. But as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And we will be giving away on each of our shows because of a lot of great fans out there from like Howard Floyd and Joseph Heatherly. And, um, you know, it just it's too many people to name that have literally bought trophies for us to give away. So I'm going to go up there and get these things done. And as always, I want to thank you guys and you ladies for being here and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Hopefully, Cowboys will have one more big move in free agency up their sleeve. I'll see you soon. Our folks here, as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. And the only thing else I got to say is...